Hello ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Alex of Sportcast Direct and I'm here to present this beautiful Mazda MX-5 registered on a 2006 06 registration 2 litre petrol 5 speed manual with option pack packs the 160 horsepower petrol engine and uh, comes fitted with the limited slip differential for enhanced handling capabilities. That's just two lady owners from you. It's an MOT that runs through November 2022. It's just been serviced by ourselves and uh, has just benefited from an underseal rust prevention treatment for your peace of mind going forward which is good and uh, comes with the optional colour-coded hardtop as well. So it's my job really to give you a full comprehensive view of the MX-5's condition just to give you guys hopefully the confidence to decide whether you want to come have a look at it or we may even wish to have it delivered to your place of home or work we do offer a nationwide delivery service, but really I just want to give you a really good overall feel for its condition. So, as I mentioned, it's got the option pack. So what does that mean? Uh, it's got six speakers instead of four, and it uh, comes with the leather multifunction steering wheel. Comes with the uh, leather handbrake lever and surround, handbrake gear knob, leather gear knob sorry and also comes with the stainless uh, master emblazoned door entry sills as well comes with the 16 inch alloy wheels as a result and that's it so I tend to get a lot of questions about that one actually what exactly uh, is the option pack well there you go twin exit exhaust system rear bumper in lovely condition. You've got ample amounts of tread remaining across all four corners. The wheel is actually in really nice condition so um, I don't know if you've seen any other MX-5s of this age but they tend to be really pitted um, with the paint. Also just general age wear related really. I mean it's uh, what is it 15 years of age. But these wheels are actually in nice condition. Just a few minor markings to note that's it. Probably the worst one out of four, but it still looks very presentable. Like I say, that tyre is virtually brand new, look. What is the tread on that one? Finished in the uh, Mika Galaxy Grey, as it's known. It's a really nice colour. It's like a grey, kind of like a purple, is it? You know, keeps you guessing. There's the tread on that one. Look at that. Reflections. Beautiful. Headlights, they always tend to seem to be cloudy on this age, but they're crystal clear, which is nice to see. Stain chip wise, hardly any, I must, I must say. I, I don't really think it's got any noticeable stain chips, to be quite honest with you, unless you get up really close. Really well cared for example. Screens looking nice and clear. I did notice a very small chip actually right in the corner, but I think it might have been filled in. I think that's like the injection gel around it. The roof looks like uh, sun may have hit it. It's starting to fade slightly, but I can't say it's overly noticeable my eyes kind of get drawn to the side section really more than getting right on top and staring down Got the glass rear screen obviously lights nice and clear badging's nice and clear boot lids looking good i'll take a look down the side profile for you see there's no major dents that stand out paintwork gleaming 
multifunction leather trim steering wheel. Here's your wing mirror looking good, nice and flawless. Looking at the front bumper then in detail. Front fog lights. Honeycomb grill in good order. Looking good, very good. Take a look on the near side here then for you. Reflections all over the place, which is always nice to see. Wing mirror. Could do with a replacement cover actually. It, it's almost like somebody's tried to respray it and not done a very good job. It's a bit bizarre. But I must say, you know, do you notice it? Like, does it stand out? I wouldn't, wouldn't say so had I not have pointed it out to you. But um, so that's possibly the worst imperfection on the whole car, really, is that wing mirror. And take a look at the uh, tyres. And then under, underneath, you see that it's been under sealed. So it looks good under there, which uh, you can't say about most of them. That's a good plus point. And then uh, taking a look at the rear bumper then in detail, that looks flawless all the way along. A few tiny little marks that have been touched in on this corner here, just around there. on the whole looking absolutely fantastic. Let's take a look inside then. Sorry the light's playing havoc. Um, same story inside, it's all nice and clear. There's no funny odours. All seats are in good order. There's no excessive wear to any of the bolsters. MX-5 emblazoned door entry sill. Genuine MX-5 tailored carpet mats. Luggage net for passenger footwell, driver's seat looking fantastic, car starts, drives exactly as you'd expect, all the electric windows, mirrors are working, you've got isofix points down here, you've got a secret cubby hole behind the seat, I'll just show you that, there you go, just pull that open, it gives you a little bit extra storage, got a very small wind deflector there, cup holder here, if I just jump round the driver's side, I'll start it. I'll show you the engine bay as well. Just give you a view of all of the interior seats, etc. Just so you get full sight of everything. Cup holder there. Multifunction for the audio controls on the steering wheel. Radio. Heater controls, CD player, glove box, got locking wheel nut present. 20,835 miles from you. Fantastic. Let's fire it up then. No one's for warning lights on the dashboard. And what I'll do is I'll uh, pop open the boots and the engine bay. Radio working fine. Some of the booting quickly, got the toolkit. It's down there. It's looking so you find you might have to get yourself a uh, compressor sealant kit if you want to be prepared. There we go. Let's check out the engine. Absolutely. It's flawless under here. Wow, wowee, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Brilliant, really clean. The only downside under here is probably just a little bit of paint that's flaked up on the uh, underside of the bonnet. Really, really nice. 
The only thing I noticed was a little bit of bubbling on the corner of the bonnet. It seems to be quite common. We've got another Mica Galaxy Grey and that also had a similar thing right on the edge. So probably a manufacturing defect that seems to have affected a lot of them. If you haven't already done so guys, uh, please do check out our reviews because we've got over 230 five star reviews online and uh, we do offer finance as well as nationwide delivery. Viewings are available by appointment six days a week. Please do get in touch. Got any questions? My name's Alex. Many thanks for watching and hopefully I'll hear from somebody soon.